Hello, James McNamara here. One of my specialities is delivering powerful yet practical leadership messages to managers who want to step up to leadership and make a positive impact on their team and on the organization's results. Now, there are a few boilerplate strategies that I tend to focus on in delivering these messages. One of those is for a manager to be able to speak the language of why. This is important to be able to show workers the strategic fit. So where does your job fit in the overall picture of this organization? And why do the tasks that you're doing right now matter in terms of where the organization wants to end up? That strategic fit is really important for engagement uh, for employees because without that, they don't tend to get a sense of meaning and purpose in their work. And when you find someone without purpose in work, well, you've probably seen those results, haven't you? But on the flip side of that, when you find someone who is engaged because there's great purpose in work, then their productivity can be tremendous. The next thing that managers need to be able to do is understand the differences that exist on their team. Differences in personality and behavioral style. Now, understanding this helps managers not only to craft their messages in a way that's going to better hit home, Home, but it also enables them to understand why a person behaves in the way they behave. And if you can understand why someone behaves, then you've got a much better shot at being able to influence change in that behavior if you need to as a manager. Managers need to be good listeners. Um, I tend to find that managers are good tellers, but quite often they're not good listeners. And I teach them that listening is in fact the most powerful influence skill of all. On the flip side of listening though, is the fine art of assertiveness. Now managers are charged with driving results, pushing forward, creating things. And so a manager does need to be able to drive and push forward, but to be able to do that in a way that's effectively assertive and doesn't cross over into some of the less effective ways of being more aggressive in tone and style. And so I've found over the years that, that managers get great insight from effectively understanding how to craft assertive messages. I help them dispel a lot of myths around assertiveness. Assertiveness is totally misunderstood in most cases in organizations. And I teach them how to be effectively assertive because it's a true win-win strategy. How does the manager uh, speak up for what they need to have happen? And how do they do that in a way that doesn't block the needs and rights of the person they're speaking to? And that's why it's hard work. But when you master it, it's an incredible influence skill. The final thing I want to talk about on this video is the fact that one size does not fit all. Uh, managers tend to come to the job of leadership with their preferred style. And that will be normally based on their dominant personality profile. But really, one size does not fit all. Uh, we need to be able to be flexible in our leadership style, depending on the situation, depending on the experience and engagement of the person that we're talking to, and depending on their skill level, of course. And I teach managers how to understand how they can temper and change their style depending on the circumstance to be able to get better results. So if you'd like to talk about crafting a fresh and creative approach to leadership development in your organization, then make contact with me uh, and we can organize a time to chat over coffee and be able to put something very special together for you and your team. Look forward to chatting to you very soon. Bye for now.